Good evening, Jonathan. Hello, <coughs> hello, Lily. Good evening. Uh, excuse me, I cannot hear you. Let me check. Oh. Now. Okay, uh, can you hear me? Yes. Oh, now I can hear you. So, good evening, how are you? Good evening, fine, that's fine. All right, great. A little tired. Okay, I guess so. You came to Santa Ana, you said? Yes. You did, all right, how was I that? I have to go to Santa Ana. Okay, fine. Good. fine. Mm. It's All right. A new okay, nice. I'm glad to hear that you like it. Mm -hmm. Had you come before? Yes, but I guess I'm perdi. Está en otra área. <laughs> oh, okay. Está en otro lugar. El, 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 a donde voy, la oficina en la que voy. Cambiaron. Oh, okay. La location. The location. Okay. Entonces, All right. That's sí, nice. Ahora me Hoy conocí. You got to Quedé know a different estadio. place. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes. really? That's cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you went to see the fast stadium. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Cool. And um, well, mm -hmm. tell me You're about. from Santana, right? Yeah, I'm from Santana. I actually work the. Uh, near to the stadium. I work in a school. It's uh, near to the stadium, actually. Yeah. So yeah, okay. I I am in that area every day. <laughs> uh -huh. oh, yeah. You living? Uh, well, I do not live in Santa Ana. Um, in Santa Ana, I live in Candelaria de la Frontera. It's cool. So it's outside Santa mm. Ana, but. But I travel to Santana City every day because I work there. Yeah. Okay. Yes. That's how it yes. goes. So um, tell me if you have any questions, any doubts about any of the topics or something you would like to review, Jonathan? But, mm, mm. Lo que no mucho entendido han sido el in, on, y at. Esas tres sí me cuesta conjugar. In, on, and at. Okay. Y lo so demás es... Need... All right, fine. So maybe we need more practice about that. I'm going to bring it for next week. In, on, at. Well, in, yes. for that, maybe what you need to do is to keep practicing because um, mainly we have some specific cases where we use each of them. For example, in, we would use it for um, parts of the day, like in the morning, in the evening, in the afternoon, and um, at, for night, like at night, or you would say at the moment, for instance. Um, on, like a, we, use, oh, we use at also for a specific time, like at 7.45, at eight, and so on. In on is for talking about dates, like my birthday is on November 17th, or I'm leaving on March the 12th, for instance. So yeah, it's mainly practicing. So let me bring some practice to the next day class. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Right. Let's see, Norman, good evening. Good evening. How are you? Good evening, teacher. Uh, very fine. Thank you. Okay, nice. How was your day? Uh, good, very good. Um, ever, ever working. Um, uh, the normal. <laughs> okay, it was just as yeah. usual. All right. Sounds great. Yes, yes. Hmm. Usually, yes. Okay, Thank cool. You. 
Ana Lisette, good evening. Good evening, teacher. How's everything? Very well. Okay. Um, great. I'm How was nervous your... for tomorrow. <laughs> oh, really? Why? What's um, happening tomorrow? Vaccine. Oh, you're getting vacuna. your vaccine. Yes. Number two. Okay, the <laughs> second one. All right. I yeah. hope you are lucky and you do not get any symptoms, any any side symptoms, side effects. Yes. Yes. Okay. Nervous. Yeah, I know. I know how it feels. <laughs> okay, so good luck, Annalise. Walter Rene, good evening. Good evening, teacher. Nice to see you. Thank you. How's everything? How are you doing? Uh, so, so, uh, ending, ending the week. Okay. Yeah, hoping it's a Friday night, <laughs> right? Uh, yes. All right, that's great. Do you work on weekends? Uh, a bit, please. Do you work on weekends? Uh, yeah, Saturday. Saturday. You work on Saturday. Okay. Saturday. Yes. All right. That's fine. Then you get some Sunday rest. I, Sunday I play football a little. Oh, cool. Yes. Great. Edilia Roxana, good evening. Hello, Edilia. Hello, good evening. Hi, how are you? Me. Yes, I can hear you now. Okay. Um, how are you? I'm great. Okay, nice. I'm glad to hear that. How was your day? Um, it was um, good. All right, nice. Jose Jovito, good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you? How's everything? I'm fine. I'm fine. Great. How was your day? It's been a good, good, a good day. You had a good one? I'm glad to hear that. That's nice. Got any set? Good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you doing? So good. Okay, nice. How was your day, Karen? I have a day. I have a nice day. A nice one. Very well. I'm happy to hear that. And um, let me see. Hector Jose, good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you, Hector? Um, I'm fine. I'm tired. A little tired. Okay. All right. I bet so. We're almost finishing the week, right? We need some rest. Yes, we, we need some rest, but we are here already for the class. Great. That's a good attitude. Okay, so we may start. Welcome, everybody. And well, let's start by reviewing the, the questions with wood, the invitations with wood. This is our class number 14. And our new topic would be present continuous. So let's make the review first and then we get to the present continuous. Remember that yesterday we learned how to make a invitations using wood. We said that we use wood for a offers and invitations, for example, when we say, would you like to go to a soccer match? Or would you like to come for a meal? Would you like a drink? Would you like some soup? And um, we have some expressions that we may use in order to accept invitations. They are, thank you, I would love to. I'd like to. That sounds lovely. What a great idea. Thanks for your invitation. I'd be delighted to. 
sounds great. And that'd be wonderful. So those are ways to accept an invitation to say yes. Then uh, we also have some expressions to refuse invitations, say no, right? So we'd say, I would like to, but I, and you make an excuse. There you have to explain, right? I would like to go with you, but I have to go to a birthday party, for instance. But I have to work, but I have to clean my house. I mean, you explain. I'd love to, but I, thank you for asking me, but I don't think I can. Sorry, I don't think I can make it. And that's pretty much it, right? Then let's make some invitations in order to practice. We got different activities here. We have join me for coffee, have lunch with me, come to the cinema tonight, go to watch the parade and so on. What we're going to do is to take some minutes to practice in the breakout rooms with our classmates. And we'll make in invitations like, would you like to join me for coffee? And then you have to accept or refuse the invitation. Like, would you like to have lunch with me? I would, but I, and then you, you make an excuse or that'd be wonderful. I'd like to, I mean, you decide how to answer. So I need you to practice using this prompts, please. And well, I'm sending you to the breakouts right now. There we go. You've got some minutes to practice. Hi there, did you get the picture? Did you get the screenshot? Hi, good evening. Um, me acabo de incorporar. Miss. Okay. No sé. So we are uh, just practicing, Cindy, we're practicing the invitations with wood. I sent a screenshot of the exercise to the WhatsApp group. You can check it there. Uh -huh. Okay, the question. Yes, we are making invitations using wood and also accepting or refusing them. Okay. Great. Um, the other classmen. I don't know how to share the screen. Hi, Karen. Hi, Ah, oh, Okay. Hello. 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 We have to do questions for an invitation. Mm -hmm. if, yes. if you want, okay. I can start. The first um, one, it could be, will you, will you join me for coffee on Friday? Did you, did you go to the, uh, yes, how uh, would you respond to it? Let me see. I just explained that too, right? Yes, I'm sending the screenshots of that uh, information. I'm sending the screenshots of the different expressions you can use. Mm -hmm. So we check the, the WhatsApp group. For, uh, we have them there. We got to accept, you would say, 
thank you. I would love to. I'd like to. That sounds lovely. What a great idea. Ah, okay. It's okay. And um, yes, I great great idea. Okay. That's a great idea. Or what a great idea. A great idea. Ah, I think it's the same. Mm -hmm. Could you like to do it? Okay. The other question. Could you like have a lunch with me? Could you like have a lunch with me? Uh, yes, that sounds lovely. Great. And the third one. Would you like to come to the cinema tonight with me? Um. Yes, I like it. Huh? Yes, I like it. <laughs> Get your. Could you like go to the watch the parade? Parade. 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 Okay. Mm -hmm. I guess we have another one. Got any step? Hola. Can you answer the question? Y sinceramente no lo he entendido mucho. Okay, can you ask the number of three? Four. ¿El qué dice? Preguntó la número cuatro. The okay. question is, uh -huh. would you like to go to watch the party? Hola. Okay, would you like to go to watch the parade? Then, Karen, we have many different expressions to accept or to refuse the invitation. Tenemos ahí algunas expresiones de cómo aceptar o cómo... Eh, Como, oh, how do you say, no aceptar, right, la invitación. Entonces, podemos decir, for example, would you like to join me for coffee? Yes, I would. That sounds great. That'd be wonderful. Or I'd be delighted to. I mean, you are saying yes, I want to, right? And in the opposite case, when you refuse, you would say, I'd like to, but I have to work. I'd love to, but I can't. I have to take care of my kids, for instance. And um, so on. I mean, you just um, keep on using those expressions like, thank you for asking me, but I have to go to a meeting. I have a meeting, something like that. Um, no sé si, si le queda un poquito más claro, Karen, or do you have another question? Um, en el grupo de WhatsApp les envié las carteras de la información que yo les di, de las expresiones y todo lo demás. Okay. Maybe you can check there. Eh, me dijo el compañero, eh, perdón, que no le, no le, no le recuerdo la, la pregunta al compañero. Esther, can you repeat, please? Number four. Would you like to go to watch the parade? On Sunday, for example. Oh, yes, I'll, I like. Mm. Yes, I like. Okay. Mm, the yes, next yes. one for Cindy. Would you like to come to the barbecue at tennis club? Yes, I go. I go. I could 
<risa> es que me, pro me cuesta pronunciar. Siento que estoy diciendo bueno en vez de good. No, oh, it'd be it'd be good. Is that what good. you want to say? It'd be good. And good. O sea, mm -hmm. siento que lo confundo con la con la palabra bueno en inglés. Es que siento que tiene Or, la misma pronunciación. Um, what do you mean? ¿A qué se refiere? A la palabra bueno en inglés. Es que es la misma la, pronunciación. La misma pronunciación de qué otra palabra? Con sí. esta de good. Ah, wood. Wood. So we have good and wood. Ah, They sound okay. different. Good, good, bueno, good, and wood. 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 Okay. Wood. Um, yeah. That's how it sounds. Wood. Okay. Yes, I did. Um, the next one. Um, the next one. Um, did you like drink some tea today? Mm. Hello. Thank you for asking me, but I don't like it. I don't like tea or I don't like it. I don't like Remember it. to use the object pronouns. No, can, you, can you ask me, Karen? Um, thank, thank for thank for invitation. Yes, I like. I love tea. Okay, okay, nice. Mm -hmm. Karen, would you like to read a magazine on the library? I don't listen. Would you like to read a magazine on the public library? Um, At the library? Uh-huh, the library. Ah, okay, okay. Um yes, I like it. Mm. No, I don't. <laughs> no, I wouldn't, you say in that I case. Wouldn't. Uh -huh. yeah. mm -hmm. I wouldn't. Uh-huh. No, I wouldn't. <laughs> Very sincere. <laughs> <laughs> Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, um, oh, yeah. Would you like play soccer with me and my friends? Mm. What a great idea. <laughs> okay. So I guess. Okay. What is the other activity? It's only this one for now. So we're coming back. See you there. Thank you. Okay. Thank, thank you. you. Okay, let's wait for everybody to come back. Okay, some people are missing. So, um, did you practice? Did everybody practice? Uh, a little. A little, yes. okay. Do you have questions or doubts about how to make invitations using wood? And how to answer them? No, we're clear? Mm, no, teacher, no, it's more clear the activity. Okay, all right, fine. So now uh, we are going to continue with our next topic, which is the present continuous. So let's take a look at that. Our 
our lesson objective is at the end of this lesson, participants will be able to ask and answer questions using the present continuous. So let's see, um, we're going to skip that. And let's remember about the rules on how to make the ING form for the verbs. Remember that the general rule says that I have to add ING to the base form of the verb. For example, in the case of work, it becomes working. You see, I add ing. Build, building, go, going, do, doing. Then we have the verbs that end in e. In that case, we drop the e and we add ing. For example, live, living, use, using, write, writing, move, moving so you see how we erase how we delete we drop the e and then instead we add ing next case would be the verbs ending in ie in those verbs what we have to do is to change the ie to a y and then add ing for example lie line you see here we have ie in the ing form we have y plus ing. The same happens in die, dine, tie, tie. Then the next, uh, the next case we have is the one syllable CVC words or consonant vowel consonant words. Uh, in that case, we double the last consonant and we add ing. For example, here we have the verb sit. You see, it's only one syllable, it's short, and um, it follows the combination consonant, S, yes, vowel, I, and consonant, T. So that means that for making the ING form, we need to double the last consonant. As you see, we get sitting, double T plus ING. The same happens in the case of get, it becomes getting, plan, planning. Repeat, please. Work, working. Work, working. Work, working. Build, building. Build, building. building. Go, going. Go, Go going. going. Do, doing. Do, Do doing. doing. Do. Live, living. Live, Live living. living. Use, using. Use, using. using. Write, writing. Write, writing. writing. Move, moving. Move, moving. 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 Lie, lying. Lie, lie, lying. lying. Die, dying. Tie, tying. Sit, sitting. Get, getting. Get, getting. Plan, planning. Okay, are we clear about the meaning of all the verbs we have in the list? Or do you have questions? Do you know them all? De la última sería que termine una vocal y una consonante. It, it follows the combination consonant, vocal, vowel, consonant. Sigue esa combinación, consonante, vocal, consonante. Ah, oh, okay. Yeah. Any other doubts? All right, if we have no more doubts, what we're going to do is to practice by making the ING form of the following verbs. So I'm going to give you some minutes for you to complete the, the list in the breakout rooms again. And then we come back and we share and check. So let me open the rooms again. And let me see. And I'm sending you the screenshot in a moment. Okay, there you go.
en Y. ¿Sí? Por ejemplo, vaya, buy, o sea, comprar. Ah, ok. Sería... Sí, se le adiciona ING. ING nada más, perdón. Ajá, correcto. Sería buying. Igual que play, playing. Play, ajá. Play, playing. Y el swim, ahí sí sería doble M. Swimming. Porque ahí va la consonante, uh, vocal, consonante. Doble M. Swing. Ah, en el swing es el que va doble M, porque es swimming. Swimming. Uh -huh. El play sería playing. Ajá. Y reading. What? 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 Watch, watching, watching, watching. watching. En el dance ya se convierte en, en qué se convierte eso? En, en, y en dancing. Y en, se elimina la e. La e y se pone y en ¿no? Dancing. Dancing. Mm. Eh, listen, listen, listen. Eso, listen. Ajá. Ajá, con doble N. Porque termina en consonante, vocal consonante. Ah, ok. Listen, listen. Y el paint, painting. Painting. Make. 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 Ah, la E se vuelve. Eh, y en el Pero ahí, ¿qué I sería? G. Ah, en Chiva. Ah, ok. I'm making. Uh -huh, making. Ajá, uh -huh, igual que en dance. You write, writing. Ajá. Writing. Learning. 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 Buy. Buy. Buying. Buying. Mm -hmm. Vaya, a acabar. Clean cleaning. Clean cleaning. Uh -huh. Clean. Study. Ahí se convierte eh, la Y en. Ah, no, igual, no, ¿verdad? Que no, el play. Ah, sí, aquí agregamos ING. Study, ajá, study. Study, study. Uh -huh. study. ¿Cuál era la que se convertí en. Ah, la que terminaba en IE, que se convierte en, en Y. Correcto. Uh -huh. Have, having, así sería. Study. 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 Have, having. Have, having. Clipping. Doing. Do, doing. 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 Uh -huh. uh, drive, driving. Esta es la que se vuelve en ING, la I, la driving. Ah, yes. Driving. Walking. 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 ¿Mm? Como walking dead. Walking dead. Ah, va. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay, you're done, right? Hand. Yes. <laughs> okay, good. So we're coming back in a couple of seconds. See you there. Okay. Okay. Okay, so let's start checking. Um, we got the list of verbs. Let's let's make them ing. So we have swim, which becomes swimming. It takes double m. Then we have play, playing, watch, 
Watching. Watching. Read. Watching. Reading. 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 Dance. Reading. Dancing. 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 Listen. Listening. 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 Paint. Painting. 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 Make. Making. 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 So in this case, you drop the E and add ING instead. And you get making. Ride. Writing. 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 You apply the same rule, you erase the, I, the E in at ING. Then we have learn. Learn. Learning. 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 Buy. Buying. 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 Clean. Cleaning. 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 Study. Studying. 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 Have. Having, 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 sleep, don't driving, work, sleep, sleeping, sleeping, do, doing, 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 drive, driving, driving, driving walk, walking, walking. Okay. walking. All right, let's repeat the verbs. Everybody repeat, please. Swim, swimming. 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 Play, playing. Play, playing. Play, play, play. Watch, watching. Watch, 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 watch. watching. Read, reading. Read, read, reading. reading. Dance, dancing. Then listen, listen, listening. Listening. listening, paint, painting, paint, paint, painting, make, making, make, making, making, write, writing, write, writing, learn. Learning. Learn. Learn. Learning. Learning. Buy. Buying. Buy. Buy. Buying. Buying. Clean. Cleaning. Clean. Clean. Cleaning. 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 Study. Studying. Study. 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 Have. Having. Have. 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 Having. Having. Sleep. Sleeping. Sleep, sleeping. Do, doing. Do, 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 doing. Drive, driving. Drive, driving. driving. Walk, walking. Walk, 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 walk. Okay, good. Now let's continue by reviewing how to make sentences in the affirmative form using the present continuous. So the structure that we follow is subject, verb B, verb in ING, and complement. Let's make some examples. Can you give me some? Okay, I'll grade the first one. Uh-huh, go ahead. I am studying English. I yeah. am studying English. Good, can we make another one? You are playing video game. Can you repeat it, please? I couldn't get it. You are playing video game. You are playing video game. Thank you. Okay. Do you have another example? We are drinking water. We are drinking water. Okay, make another one. Jeez. They are swimming in the pool. Okay, they are swimming in the pool. They are. 
she is sleeping. She is sleeping. You are dreaming in the night. You are dreaming. In this case, we cannot say oh, at well. night because it would change the, the tense. I mean, remember that we use a, the present continuous for talking about things that are happening now at the moment of speaking, right? Mm -hmm. Any other? She is teaching uh, English class. She is teaching the English class. All right, very well, we got plenty of examples. And you see, we always need the subject, then the verb be, and then the verb in ing, right? You can never miss any of those elements. It's important to keep both the verb be and the verb in ing. You can never say, say I studying or you playing. No, that's incorrect. You would say I am studying or I'm studying. You can also use the contracted form. Or you playing, don't say that, please. You say you are playing or you're playing, right? So always use the verb be and the verb in ing. Never omit it. Now, some expressions that we may use with the simple present, with the, excuse me, present continuous are now, right now, at the moment, today, tomorrow, this week or this month. So we would say, for example, I'm explaining the present continuous now. You are listening to me right now. And we are studying English at the moment, for instance. Or I'm visiting my parents today. I'm going, um, let's say, I'm going to the park tomorrow. We're practicing this week and uh, we're traveling to the US this month. So you see, those are some expressions we can use. You can use with the present continuous. Okay, continue. Now, for making negative sentences, we follow almost the same structure as for the affirmative but we add not right after the verb be. So we would get, oh, excuse me, some examples. Let's see, can we make I, some negative sentences? I am not, I am not uh, learning uh, French. I'm not learning French, good. Huh? Any other? Can you make another example, please? You are not work today. You are not working today. Okay. okay very well. They are dancing. No, they are not dancing. Tonight. They are not dancing tonight. Okay. She isn't reading a book. She isn't reading a book. Okay. Can we make more? I am not. I am not. I am not sleeping in the after. I am not sleeping. Well, in this case, we cannot say in the afternoon. Once again, remember that uh, you can only mm. use expressions that are um, out. Sleeping at the class. Yeah, I'm not sleeping in class, for example. Remember that mm -hmm. we use the present continuous to talk about things that are happening at the moment or uh, they continue through a period of time. But we cannot use the, the present continuous to talk about things that are usual, like the daily routines. Remember, we use present symbol for that. Okay, let's make another sentence in the negative form. 
I am not. I'm not painting. Painting, painting right now. Right now. Very well. I am not painting right now. Okay. So that is how we make negative sentences. Now let's move on to the questions. Well, let's remember that a, well, this is the basic structure for the sentences, right? We just mentioned it. We start with a subject, then we add the verb be. In the case of the questions, we have to do the opposite. We change the subject to the second place, to the second position, and the verb be becomes the first element in, this, in the question. So instead of saying we are listening to music, we would say, are we listening to music? Are we listening to music? So all, all questions start with am, um, is, or are. They start with the verb be. Let's make some more examples. Let me, are you paying attention, for instance? Are you falling asleep in the class? Are you falling asleep in the class? Okay. Any other? Are you enjoying the class? Are you enjoying the class? Good. And then how to answer? What would be the short answers for the questions? Are you paying attention? You say? Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Or you would say no. No, I don't. I am not. I'm not. And the same goes for the other ones, right? I'm Are you falling asleep in the class? Yes, I am. Mm. No, I am not. Are you enjoying the yeah, class? No. Yes, I am. No, I am not. Let's make another question using is she. Mm. Huh? She is studying English yeah, now. Is she watching television? Answers, yes. Yes, she is. She yes. is, yes, she is. or we would say no. No, she isn't. She isn't. She isn't. That's right. Now let's use are they. Are they? Playing are soccer. They? Are they playing soccer? Answers. Yes, they are. 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 No, no, they, they are. are. No. All right, very well. That's how we make the yes, no questions. And at last, mm -hmm. let's review how to make WH questions in the present continuous. Well, we follow the same structure as in the yes no questions, except that we add the WH word at the beginning. For example, we would say, what are you doing? Can you give me some more examples? WH questions. Other, when are you coming, for example? Make more, please. Where are they, where are they uh, playing soccer? Where are they playing soccer? Okay. Think of where more. Where are you going? What are you going? How about why is your sister crying? And let's try to answer them. What are you doing? Hi. Yeah, I am what are studying. You doing? I am studying English. I'm studying English. Okay. Uh, when are you coming? What can you say there? I am coming tomorrow. I'm coming tomorrow. Where are they playing soccer? Mm 
here playing soccer. In the park. Um, but it says, oh yeah, excuse me. I thought it was when, but it's where, yes, in the park. Thanks. And we have, where are you going? Hmm? How do you answer? I'm going. I'm going to, school. to work. To school or to Ooh. work. Why is your sister crying? She's crying. She's crying. She's crying. Oh, because. because. Uh, candy. Because. Last, because last, she last wants ball. candy. Mm -hmm. Okay, very well. All right, so that's how we make WH so questions one, in the present continuous. Now we are going to practice a little bit of this, please, by solving some exercises. Let's skip this one. We're going to keep it for next class. I want you to practice making. Oh, answering some questions so you get some conversation. So here you have some questions that you must ask and answer with your classmates. So I am sending you to the breakout rooms again for you to have some time to practice this. Okay, here we go. We got like 10 minutes. Somebody sharing the, the slider, the slide. Girls. No. Alguien puede compartir el, la, 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 el slide que mandó la teacher. O, lo, o cada quien lo ve en su celular y hacemos las preguntas en las respuestas sí, pero no las no las han enviado como no ya las envió yes, I have sent them bueno María Elena, what are you doing today? Now it's gone. Mm. 
Okay. And I'm watching TV. Okay. Uh, you ask uh, somebody else. Uh, the number. Okay. Mm. Analyst said, when are you visiting mm -hmm. your parents? Mm, I don't visit them because I live with them. Um, number six. I visited my, my grandmother in Saturday. Saturday. On Saturday. Saturday, okay. Stay on, remember. Okay. You, Jose, yes. with it. Retumo. Ya no veo la pantalla. Sí, se fue. Pero quiero ver. Que se fue la señal. Eh, lo voy a poner yo. Ah, ah bueno, yo, yo ya lo había cliqueado. Ah, ya, yeah. ok. okay. Ahí está. Number, number five. Sí. En esa estamos. When are you visiting your parents? Mm -hmm. When um, I, I visit my parents all day. Normally after uh, in the night. Okay. Who are you inv invade invading to the party? Inviting. <laughs> Who are you inviting to the party? Mm, I invite her, me, nothing. Mm, nobody. Her. Ah, no, nobody. Nobody. Nobody or no one. Oh, no one. Ah, okay. Nobody or no one. Okay. Okay. I invited my brother. I invited my sister. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Inviting my close friends. Seven. What are you driving? Okay, number seven. Finish. Oh, seven. Uh -huh. When are you, when are you finish? finishing? The English course. Uh, is I don't know. Week? I don't know. Coming soon. When? <laughs> the English course. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Coming soon. We're finishing next know. week. Next week. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay <me too. laughs> next week. Next week. Yeah, I mean this this module, right? Then you continue for I don't know, like maybe one year, around one year or so. The other level. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Now number A. What are you drawing? Drawing. What is the drawing? Yes. Uh, what is the drawing? Drawing the oh, Okay. Uh, and. I drawing my car. I'm drawing my house. You also have it too. I driving uh, all day a uh, circuit electric. You also, Jose. I driving. I driving all day. Circuit electric. Ah, you are an engineer. <laughs> sí, yo trabajo en AutoCAD y hago sus diseños. Oh, wow. Good. Good work. <clears throat> yes. Uh, Hector. Hello. What are you drawing? What, what am I drawing? Drawing mm. is dibujar. 
Sure. Then, number, can you repeat, please? Uh, number eight, what are you doing? Um, well, I guess I am, I can draw. I can't. All right. Okay. 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 Number nine. Why are you studying English? Mm. Mm -hmm. I'm studying English to have another opportunity in the work. Yes. I go. Okay. Or be bilingual. Okay. Being bilingual. Okay. Bilingual. I study I... English because I like. I study English because uh, my activity. Uh, Actuality is in English. For all uh, is in English. Okay. Y de ahí la necesidad de conocer más y hablar inglés. All right. Let me just uh, tell you something there. Uh, actuality, I mean, uh, we do not say actually uh, for actualmente. That is not what it means. Um, instead, we would say like at the moment or these days, these days I'm working with English or at the moment I'm working with English. I mean, but actually it would mean like a, en verdad, en realidad, that's the meaning. Mm -hmm. okay. All right, we're coming okay. back. We're done. Num number 10. All right, so that will be all for today's class. And uh, well, let me remind you that we are finishing the course next week. So please, um, if you have not finished the work in the platform, do it as soon as possible. Remember it has to be done uh, by Monday because we're finishing on Tuesday. So you should be done with everything, all the exercises and including the final exam by Monday. If you have not done so, I encourage you to continue working and finish as soon as possible, please. I hope you have a nice weekend. See you on Monday. Take care. Okay, Bye. Good night. Too. Bye. Thank you. Good night. 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 Good night